Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about application access policies in Exchange Online uh, and in Graph as well. All right. Okay. So let's suppose uh, you have a Graph application using application permission, uh, trying to access mailbox of a user. So you go about having all the permissions set up, all configuration done, and uh, you're ready to run the API. So now I'm running the API and I'm hitting the me slash messages endpoint. Here you see it works as expected. I'm able to, you know, read all the messages from this user's mailbox. I go ahead and uh, try to hit uh, the another user's mailbox and I'm again able to get all the details. Mind you, I was not asked for sign in. Uh, this is the application type token and I can just get the access token as it is without having to sign in. Okay, now suppose uh, so in your organization, you might have uh, folks who have sensitive data let's suppose the ceo of your company so la is my ceo of of our, of our company and um, i don't want uh, you know any app to access their mailbox so in that case what to do now uh, so to handle this particular scenario we have application access policy so application access policy allows you to you know restrict what graph can access uh, on the exchange online site so mind you this is the workload specific feature and not the graph one using application access policy you can you know restrict the application the graph api application to allow and fine tune the gran uh, granular permission okay so what do i mean by that so if now if i i already have added added to the application access policy i have denied access on this particular account so if i try to access adil's email i get access denied so this is how you configure application access policy i already have a script which you can use so it's there on my github repo i'll paste the link in the description below so if i can show you how it works at line number 21 it is the actual command which you need to run um, you need to pass in the app id of the application the group id is the id of the user it could be the email address or you can also use the security group and add all the users where you want to deny or restrict access and uh, here you need to specify whether you need to deny the access or restrict the access so there are two ways uh, where you can do it either you deny access or restrict access so deny is mostly exclusive okay and uh, restrict access is inclusive so if you do restrict access uh, all the users who are there in the group would be able to uh, access the application and all the other users would be denied by default however if you use denied access then only selected users which are there in the group would be denied and all other users would be able to access the application okay so I, if i can show you a quick example so deny access has higher priority over the restrict access okay uh, if you have policy applied on a particular application let's suppose app id one two three uh, if you're running the application, a Graph EP application, it also has application 123. If the denied access policy is configured for a particular email address, the access would be denied. However, if the app ID is not matched, the access won't be denied. Okay, so this is an example of restrict access. Uh, the user policy is applied to restrict access to only abc at the gmail.com user. Okay, so whenever the Graph API is running, um, if I try to access the email of abc at the gmail.com, uh, the Outlook messages, the access would be granted. However, if I try to access another user's email, the access would be denied. So this is how it works. This is how the application access policy works. And uh, you can use the script. Uh, so the, all the prerequisite in order to execute this particular command, I have uh, listed over here. You need to install and add few modules. And once you add this modules and install it, you'll be able to run it. Uh, in order to test the application access policy, you can use these two commands. And in order to remove it, you can just simply use remove application access policy and pass in the identity. So if you want to check the identity, identity would be here. All right. I hope that helps. Um, if you guys have any other questions or concerns, please feel free to reach, reach out to me with all your questions uh, in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them as they come. Thank you, guys. Ciao. Bye-bye.